It's late morning, early afternoon, and the sun is just starting to top out over the McCall Airport, Kilo MYL. We open the door to the U.S. Forest Service headquarters and report in for work. On the ramp sits a Kodiak 100 and a few airplanes waiting for their assignments for the day. We are handed our weekly assignment from operations, and our job this week is to provide relief to a fire reconnaissance crew ending their weekly duties. We're assigned to the Kodiak 100, and we're gonna be flying to our base for the week in a field called Wilson Bar. It's a little grass strip right next to the Salmon River. In the airplane, we have to pack camping supplies and various other items. Any aircraft is gonna be good for this mission. However, it's best if you can put a G1000 Bush type aircraft on this one, as we're gonna be flying low in the canyons. While the engine warms up, let's take the time to program the G1000 now. First things first, let's start by ensuring that you have Navigraph's hub installed. Next, make sure that the G1000 Avionics plugin is installed. It's pretty easy to install. To install it, you just want to click on the install icon next to the Avionics plugin. It's important to note that there are a host of aircraft that have this integration. G1000, 3000, and 5000 aircraft have this integration as well. Xbox users can enjoy this feature on select airplanes. Once logged in, click on the charts icon and you're going to see the McCall Airport displayed. At the bottom of the screen, we see a few options. We have info, DP, that stands for departure procedures, standard terminal arrival or stars, approaches, and weather or WX. Let's go ahead and pull up our weather in McCall by pressing the WX weather soft key. After that, let's start taking a look at the approaches into McCall. Now, we know we're not going to be flying into McCall today. This is just to show you all the available options on the G1000. Select the soft key chart options. You can see a host of options here for viewing the charts. We have ROT CCW and ROT CC, and that means rotate counterclockwise and CC means rotate clockwise. All options indicate that you'll see the entire chart. The header key will show us the heading section of the chart. The plan is just to view the plan view of the chart. We have profile and minimums, and they also break down sections of the chart. It really helps to eliminate scrolling through the chart. Fit with is a nice little feature that will fit the entire chart into the G1000 display. Next, click back, then sync button to get us back to the airport chart. If you select the menu page, you will see different options here. We're just gonna make sure our aircraft is displayed on this one. You can even change it to dark mode if you're flying nighttime ops. There are a few ways we can load a flight plan. We can use SimBrief's integration or we can do it manually. In this case, we're gonna go do this manually as we'll be primarily flying VFR today. Go ahead and select the soft key called FPL or flight plan. Push the outer knob to highlight the origin. Scroll down to the solid line by using the inner knob. Use the outer knob to type Kilo Mike Yankee Lima one letter at a time, or click the little keyboard icon and just type it in on your keyboard, Kilo Mike Yankee Lima, and hit ENT or enter. Use the outer knob to select runway 16 and press enter. Use the inner knob to highlight the destination, again, solid line, and use the outer knob to type Charlie 48 and hit enter. You can enter runway 6 if you'd like but that may change depending on what kind of animal we have in the middle of it. The total distance is 40 nautical miles. We're not going to really need any waypoints on this trip, but entering them into the G1000 is the same. As we depart from McCall Airport, we're going to need to gain some altitude before turning direct to Wilson Bar. Our cruise altitude is going to be right around 10,000 feet. For those who are a bit lower and slower, you're gonna to need to snake your way around the terrain. You can use the feature on the G1000 to see it. You can also have a look at our VFR charts as well to help assist you. We have great visibility today and temperatures are on the cooler side as we're approaching winter. 
This trip has one runway that we can land on. Runway 24 is the preferred, as runway 6 has 90 foot trees in the approach end of it. As you can see from the G1000, we're going to need to land to the southwest. We're going to need to overfly the airport while losing energy in the descent. Once at a good location, we're going to need to execute a chandelle maneuver to reverse course. We'll also need to ensure that we slow down and come down. This is a blind approach on a right bend in the river. Be careful to configure early to help with your reaction time. We suggest looking at the G1000 for reference to see where the airport's coming up. You must nail the approach here. If you need to bail out, you'll have to climb and clear the trees. Once you're on final approach, you're basically committed to the landing. Remember to stop and have a look around the surroundings after you take a breath. We're gonna go ahead and park, make sure we unpack our gear, we're gonna set up our campsite for the next few days. We're gonna be flying some recon missions for fires. Fortunately, the good part, fire season's coming to a close, and that means a bit more relaxation is on the way. Now, where's that fishing pole? Did we pack it? <laughs>